Hey everyone, it's Moonlight Mason coming to you from Maui and I am going to talk about all of the comments that I read last night on Trisha Paytas's video and what I read is that a lot of her subscribers are simply crushed, disappointed and their hearts and souls are broken. And that is what we are going to talk about in this video. So, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do a variety of content. And if, you'll, uh, if you like my videos on Trisha, I have a whole playlist. I've been making videos on, on Trisha Paytas for years. And so you can find that in my playlist. And basically... I'm very similar to the rewired soul, not as professional as he is. I may not have as much, you know, um, experience as he does, but I do have a degree in psychology and I've been through a lot myself, but never been through some of the hardcore stuff like Chris has. So in reading the comments, I noticed that many of you it was interesting, right? It was very interesting because I I give you guys, her viewers, if you're watching me, a lot of credit. You're very mature and I was very pleased to see that all of you, except for, I think it was just one person, one comment that I read that didn't get it, but all of you just no matter how much you loved her and no ma and you still do many of you still do i don't mean it's in the past but no match no matter how much you adore your queen you notice when something is not right and many of you have shared your disappointment in how she responded and how she reacted to the rewired soul I just want to let you know that first of all, it was disappointing for me as well, but Trisha was just being herself. Now, whether we have been privy to see this part of Trisha, I don't think so. I've never seen her be so unkind and, and so harsh on another person, talking about another person, I really never have. She really basically keeps it all about her. But this video is more for you guys who have left messages and comments uh, to Trisha. Some of you, very few, thank God, you know, kind of turned it around on her and said, you know, look at your, uh, you know, weave her hair that she doesn't comb you know her skin you know some of you commented on her surgery her weight and all of the hypocrisy that was in this video and just just take a moment to realize that if you did that <clears throat> you were just responding in the same way that Trisha responded to Chris and many of you expressed how broken hearted, you know, some of you even said your souls were crushed and just to see something that did not meet your expectations. Trisha disappointed her fans or her subscribers, as you will. She, I was disappointed and a lot of us were very disappointed in her response. And we are all human. We all do things that are mistakes and I don't know if she's ever going to realize that it was a mistake. I don't know if she ever watches his videos in their entirety. I'm not sure how Trisha, how her brain operates to be Sometimes, you know, she's done this in the past, you know, with people saying, you know, oh, look at that lady using coupons. She's made other derogatory comments towards people like that, perhaps being afraid of the homeless, thinking she's going to get harmed 
or I even just recently I saw a video with her and Jason and even though Jason lives in the valley I live in the valley I was slightly offended when she said the valley was trash and all these other things about the San Fernando Valley you know it's very important to, to note that you as a viewer have this opportunity if Trisha's not going to take it and grab it you guys have this opportunity to take this whole thing and learn from it as well. We can all be better people with ourselves and with others and to be kind. And it was so disappointing to hear her take someone's transparency, like Chris sharing his past and opening up and just saying, and with no shame and no embarrassment and saying, this is me, you know, she just uh, couldn't accept that what he was saying was the truth and it was blinding her. Do you know like a light that blinds you? The truth was so upfront and center that she just retaliated with boxing gloves, right? And many of us do that. And so let's all try and send Trisha some positivity and keep your hope up high that Trisha will one day realize what a beautiful person she is deep inside and that she can bring that up and forward. You know, I noticed many of you, I was so proud of you, talking about the materialistic things that Trisha seems to gloat or seems to she gloats and she she boasts about buying you know all these bags three thousand six thousand and many times i believe she does this just to film just because okay like when she started doing mukbangs i knew that she was doing it because she thought that's what you guys all wanted to see i hate mukbangs because i hate people I hate people. I hate when people overeat because it's disgusting. And many of you commented on that turkey dry sandwich. And it was amazing how when Trisha disappointed us, the viewers came up with the truth. If she would have just done a mukbang and just eaten the turkey sandwich, you know, you guys would have been supportive of her. Yeah, we want to see more mukbangs and all this. But because she did something that was so disappointing to us, you know, a lot of you came forth and talked about all kinds of stuff about Trisha, you know, her weight, her surgery, all the ways that, I wonder if this is recording because I have a message, all the ways that Trisha chooses to live her life and all we can do is if you're going to continue watching her all you can do is just hold hold her in a high esteem and hope for the best that's all we can do we cannot control what she thinks and how she helps herself or doesn't help herself i've talked many times about how trisha self-sabotages herself and most of all, causes herself self-harm. This video was so self-harming to her spiritual well-being. You, you don't ever want to think about another human being or talk about another human being the way she talked about Chris. Because living that way is operating in the lower, lower functioning, the lower vibrations and what that does is it brings more of that to you, you see? So if you want more negativity, if you want more pain and suffering in your life, then you talk about more pain and suffering and you put out what you want. So I'm not saying to be in denial and not, not talk your truth. Always talk your truth. And, and and express your pain and your disappointment. That's what we should all be doing. But know that within that, there is a silver lining. And the silver lining in all this is an opportunity for all of us, including myself, to see how we think of others, how we treat other people. That's what it is. And, and maybe just 
grow just a little bit for yourself. You know, I took the opportunity and, and, and try to look at how, how I could improve treating other people. Sometimes I don't say thank you. I noticed yesterday when I was, you know, when I went to the store and I asked where something was and the guy told me really nice with a smile. And then I walked away and I said, I didn't think, I didn't thank him. And I'm not sure if that came from all of this, but I do know that every day there's an opportunity to be a better person. Now, I, I want to talk about the rewired soul in Chris for a minute. I'm not sure I'm having trouble speaking this morning. Okay. Um, wow. Look at his response. His response says a lot about him as a person. Now, he could have chosen two ways to go about his response. One way would have been negative. He could have responded in a very catty, negative way, the way Jeffree Star does sometimes. And I love Jeffree Star, but you know how catty he can be. And so Chris could have done that. You know, he could have just snapped back at her. But no, he chose the high road, and that is because he is self-aware. And that is one of the biggest things that Trisha does not have is a self-awareness of her thoughts and actions. She's not aware that she herself have said, not just in one video, Chris, Many times, in many videos, going way, way back, she's talked about all of her addictions. And now that she's addicted to food and spending money, always an addict, you know, when she said that, that pushed a lot of her viewers' buttons. And a lot of you guys have unsubscribed uh, from what I read. And um, just know that, you know, she's going to be up, she's going to be down. And I, maybe she has made an apology video. Maybe she will in the past when she's done something like this. You know, like when the vampire was drinking her period blood. <laughs> if you guys remember that. And many other shenanigans that Trisha does. She just keeps it moving forward. She never talks about what she's done in the past. Occasionally, she'll refer to, well, you know how I used to troll. And, and that is true. So she has occasionally referred to that, but hasn't really gotten that deep. The same way that she still treats Jason. And when Trisha's video, she said, you know, um, you guys aren't privy to our conversations and you don't know our, you know, our dynamics between Jason and I. No, we don't, Trisha, because that's not what you share with us. It's as simple as that. So many of us are, it can only respond to what we see and what we hear. And that's all we can respond to. But always remember that you're in control of your actions and your thoughts. And I took some notes. Uh, I just want to make sure that I didn't forget anything. Um, to okay, uh, continue to have hope for Trisha's health, and don't use yeah. Continue to have hope, you know, for Trisha. Don't give up on her, and um, always remember. I'm going to end. Always remember, because I can't edit this. Always remember that in order to succeed, you have to fail. Okay? So in order for us to walk, we had to crawl and we had to fall down. And even though Trisha is 30 years old, it doesn't matter how old she is. You could be 80 years old and you're still falling down. Because you haven't done the work to find out about you and what do you need to work on. So that's what I'm going to leave this video on. Let's just try and be positive. Send Trisha positive vibes. Hold her in high self-esteem like, like everyone. And find if you are crushed, disappointed in Trisha, you're not alone. Many of us are, but that's 
Trisha Paytas. Okay, you guys, I will see you in my next video. I'm hoping to do this every day now and record and upload it and just see how it goes. Love you. Bye.